Oh. Sony. Oh, Why boy. the fuck fucked up <sighs> with their IP? This, this one's been sitting in the bag for a while now, and then Thurman reminded me about this a couple days ago, and it started when Red and I started streaming Ape Escape, I believe, didn't it? Oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's one of those situations where Sony, it's just got me thinking, right? Sony has all these characters, all these IPs, you know, all the stuff they can do, yet they just don't use it. They really don't. It's it's, it's sad how they have titles that could, they have characters that could rival Nintendo characters in popularity if they use them right, but they don't. They they're sitting, they're sitting in 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 their basement right now, just chilling. The only ones who who are actually aren't is Kratos, and I mean Drake isn't uh-huh. really sitting in their basement, but his I would say story arc is over, I believe. Yeah, definitely. I, yeah. Like. Dad of Boy was the last, you know, time we saw an actual uh, fucking like Sony IP come out of the out of uh, Daddy's basement dungeon there and just make something like God damn, dude. I mean, it's still a fantastic title. Don't get me wrong, but you have so many other characters that could be utilized, and it pains me. It really does. The only other thing we got in the works right now is. The medieval remake that we talked about in the uh, the fucking PSX stream. Yeah, and I mean, like, Sony is at a point right now to where they're just like, I don't even know if they own. Do they, they don't even own most of their IPs anymore. Like, they lost the license for most of them. They've outsourced and, pretty much everything that wasn't making them direct money. I mean, it's, like. Do they still own? Do they still own Naughty Dog, or is Naughty Dog like its own thing now? Like because Naughty Dog is like Crash Bandicoot. I think uh, they made Jack and Daxter, didn't they? Yep. Uh, one second. Let me do a slight check. I don't. I know where. I think they did. They did Uncharted, uh, Crash Bandicoot. They did. I, I think they did Jack and Daxter. I'm not sure. It was like I, I believe Naughty Dog was like Nintendo's Rare at the time before Microsoft bought Rare, but. Well, they are still technically owned by it's Sony, just... so yeah. So... Uh, so they technically have two direct IPs in production. Fucking um, well, three if you count Ghost of Tsushima, but uh, nobody really counts that because it's a new IP. So, so, so my question is, is is open question. What do you feel like Sony has to do in order to essentially bring some of their IPs, like Jack and Daxter, Fly Cooper, Spike, even like Infamous, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera? What can Sony do? What's the since you've ran your own business? What What do you think would be the proper business decision for Sony if they wanted to bring these characters back in their limelight? Well, I mean, my business wasn't technically very successful. I mean, IT is pretty cutthroat, but uh, for the most part, the best business. Th- the solution for them would be to I, and I think they're doing this a little bit here with their like remasters and shit uh, is to test the waters essentially like they tested the waters for Sly Cooper you know sequel with the Sly Cooper collection they made one it was less than stellar but I mean they they did utilize Sly Cooper recently or relatively recently but they outsourced it they didn't really do it in house, you know, with their original team and all that, they gave it to the B team, just like, you know, Sony Bend uh, did the Vita version of Uncharted, and it didn't do as well. Also, being on the Vita wasn't the smartest idea. But <clears throat> stuff like that is what they really need to do. They need to continue to test the waters with these, you know, either remakes or upscales or whatever you want to call them. See which ones people. Would get interested in because upscaling them and releasing them digitally doesn't cost them a whole hell of a lot of money. And that's like, do we still have fans for this franchise? We do? Cool. Let's make a new game. Do we not? Cool. Everyone can go back on the on the back burner, you know, and continue to do that. That way they get both, 
both sales in the nostalgia market and they continue to get uh, potentially new sales. Like, oh, I've got kids of my own now. I want to show them, you know, this game here that I played when I was a kid. And you can utilize that quite well. We've seen it done really well by uh, the Crash Bandicoot uh, remaster. And now we're going to be seeing the same thing done with, like, the Spyro remaster as well. So hopefully they continue to do that. And hopefully... And I know you're an Infamous fan, too. I, I just want to see an Infamous collection come out on the PS4. <laughs> I do, because I, I started... I played Infamous Second Son, and although it's technically a sequel, because Sony said it's, it's like a sequel, I still like to play the first two, because I heard the first two were really good. They were like groundbreaking games. I mean, one um, was phenomenal, but fuck those, uh, char or fuck those challenges, by the way. Um... Two, I wasn't as much of a fan of myself, but it was still a fantastic game. And then nobody counts Festival of Blood. <laughs> nobody. <laughs> it's uh, my my issue with, with Sony right now is they don't know, like like we, we I think we talked about this on a podcast before. Sony doesn't know how to market their stuff very well, like how Nintendo or Microsoft does when it comes to their stuff. Because I still stand by this to this day that if Sony was smart enough, some they could make some of their uh, IPs that they made could rival some of Nintendo's IPs, mm -hmm. Ratchet and Clank, like and Daxter, Infamous. Like Sony has that potential, because unlike no shade to Microsoft here, Microsoft besides like Halo, Gears and whatnot, and I guess Killer Instinct, I mean, Nintendo and I mean, let, let me just play on that for a second. Microsoft's mascots are Master Chief, Marcus Phoenix, and a car. As much as I love, <laughs> as much as I love Microsoft, that are those are the mascots. Okay, there's no denying that. Every piece of marketing you see, Halo, Gears, and Forza. Nothing else. So with that, with that being said, Nintendo and Sony are like the true. Not, I would say the big, the as the top three, these two are the two that have the most memorable mascots. And, and it's not like obviously, I would say Nintendo's mascots are more well known. They're, I would say, more famous and whatnot. But I mean, Sony's mascots aren't far from the far from the tree either. You know, like people know who Ratchet and Clank is. You know who Jack and Daxter is. You know who Kratos is. You know who Nathan Drake is. You know who Sackboy is. You know, Sony has a lot of first person uh titles that like i love the little bit planet series i have the little bit planet three i am in love with infamous i i'm really in love with ratchet and clank uh the ps4 version even though it's it's not really what fans of the original game wanted but for newcomers it's a great game they're also uh they also put the jack and daxter legacy on the ps4 which i'll be getting uh, in my next paycheck, that forty bucks, I'm gonna be playing just like I did with Devil May Cry. I did, I played uh, one through four of Devil May Cry. I'm gonna do the same thing with Jack and Daxter and see if I love the game, starting from one, going all the way to four. Because I'm trying for some to play ridiculous bullshit in uh, some of those Jack and Daxter games. By the way, I, I'm what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get into titles I couldn't really get into as a kid, and I, I. I got into Devil May Cry, and I'm a humongous fan of it, and I'm, I'm really hoping Devil May Cry, Cry 5 comes out. So it's it's the same with Sony, right? Sony, I, I like your idea of how they should, the proper business proposal. I feel like, I feel like, honestly, people might hate me for this, but I feel like rebooting Ratchet and Clank wasn't necessarily a bad idea. I feel like they executed it wrong in a sense of they were, if they were trying to, I feel like Sony was trying to, catered to the casual fans instead of catering to the newcomers to what they were doing. <clears throat> like, the casual fans were turned off by the games while the newcomers were loving it, and that's the issue. Yep. I feel like if the game was targeted more towards newcomers, it wouldn't have been such a... And the, and if the movie was such a big, you know, thing, it would have... It wouldn't have, like, bombed as bad as it did. But I feel like Sony was trying to aim it at casual, which was a bad marketing move, I feel like. Definitely. Plus the movie, I, I enjoyed the movie. I feel like seeing the I, as, as someone who's who disdains video game movies, I was generally I, generally I enjoyed it. I'm really happy that Sony's trying to get their IPs out there in other media. Like movies is perfect, as long as it's not live action bullshit. Like either even making a Cooper movie, it's perfect. 
hopefully they won't make a video game in a group tie in to like they did Ratchet and Clank, but knowing Sony, they most likely will. But oh, you know, don't if, say that, man. If, <laughs> if they don't ruin like, my boy like that, <laughs> if if they truly, if, if, oh. if Sony truly wants to essentially get their IPs back out there, I feel like a, not not even like a reboot, you know, just like a uh, a, a collection of works, a collections uh, collections of series is very popular. We see Crash doing it, Spyro's doing it. Uh, they did it with uh, they're doing it with Jack and Daxter. They're like you know, collections are good, but if you really want to get your fans get like newcomers out there. I suggest doing what you do with Ratchet and Clank, except execute it for a targeted audience like you should. Because I feel like Sony wasn't didn't know who the fuck they're making Ratchet and Clank for the PS4 for, to be honest. They didn't know who the hell they're making it for. They don't know it was for casuals, they don't know it was for newcomers. They just like, okay, we're just reboot this and then just throw it out there. I still love the game, but I understand where someone like you is coming from, David, when you say the game just shit it on the franchise, because I understand that. If there was a game that I played as a kid, loved the series, played it throughout, and then they rebooted it and they essentially shit on the lore, what made the character great, gameplay, story, whatnot. I would legitimately, legitimately would be pissed off too because they'll be like, okay, why the fuck would you ruin such a great franchise? If you're going to literally reboot this into shit, why remake it in the first place, you know? So I understand your point of view, but on the other hand, I'm going to play devil's advocate here. I understand why they did it. Oh, it's sure. because they're trying to, and I keep repeating this, but I feel like Sony wasn't trying to make it for newcomers. If you, were, if you're trying to get your old IPs out there, you're gonna have to kind of make it known, right? So if if you, because obviously most of the fans, because uh, most of Sony's IPs were back in like the late '90s, early two early 2000s, mm-hmm. so most of those are in are old as hell, like late 20s early 30s maybe 40s right so if you want to essentially make it popular again you're gonna have to cater to their kids or if they have kids or whatever you know so but us millennials aren't having kids thurman (laughs) (laughs) well most of them aren't but it's just it's one of those cases where i love sony i I like nintendo better but i love sony sony is my childhood i've had a ps two ps3 i i love i love all three of them i'm not into that console war bullshit i like microsoft nintendo sony it just, it just pisses me i just go harder on sony more most because of the shitty ass fan fan base that they have but that's a different that's a different video from other time but <laughs> oh boy this is that they they have they have the keys to making great franchises and it's just a waste that they don't use that like Infamous Second Son was came out a while ago. Like I haven't seen a little bit planet, a uh, little bit planet being heard of in a while. Like well, Media Molecule is seen... working on Dreams right now. Is why there hasn't been a new Little Big Planet. Um, that Dreams like, I haven't looks heard like of a anything. fucking acid trip. <laughs> <laughs> like I haven't seen anything from. Uh, you know, uh, I'm trying to think of a series that they that they touched on, like medieval or you know like hell not even a heavenly earth even though i think the studio that made that game was was uh tanned i think but the point is it's just like the my issue with sony is that they have so many great icons so many great stuff they can do but they're just saying like nah nah we're gonna pull that inside we're gonna make new ip or we're gonna reboot stuff like the thing that i give credit for nintendo is nintendo milks their shit <laughs> not necessarily a milk thing, but at least like at least, like, uh, you I, won't forget. Nintendo has a Nintendo has enough titles in the repertoire for their core mascots that you won't forget who they are. There's enough Mario games out there, so you know, like, even if like six yeah. years down the road they, they don't make it, they they wait because uh, I believe uh, a main Mario title doesn't happen in like until like every four or, or six years, maybe. I mean, you're, every I console know. generation, you're guaranteed two things. You're guaranteed a Mario game and the main franchise, and you're guaranteed a fucking Zelda game and the main, main franchise. Yeah. So, like, Nintendo, when it comes to Mario and Legend of Zelda, they're, they're usually about give or take six, because the, uh, the last, besides Breath of the Wild, the last main Legend of Zelda title was what? Like, on console-wise. What was that? Uh, Twilight Princess. Yeah, Twilight, and that was, like, GameCube. That was, like, 2008, right? 
Uh, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Skyward Sword was the last, uh, last mainline one. Oh, yeah, that was for the Wii, right? And yeah. that was like, and still pretty 2008 ish, 2011 ish around there. So it's like about like six, what, six years, six, six to five years. So it's not like it's essentially, although you can technically say Legend of Zelda is milked, but at the time, you know, stuff like that. But I mean, Nintendo titles are milked, but at the same time, you, you won't forget who they are. Yep. Milk doesn't necessarily mean bad. A milk <clears throat> series isn't necessarily bad, you know. Mario Odyssey wasn't a bad game. Dragon nope. Ball wasn't a bad game. Like you can even argue that Kirby's milk, and Kirby has like a new title like every two years. Pokemon has a new title, and m- most Pokemon titles are rehashed, but they're not bad, you know. Exactly. If it ain't broke, fix it type deal. So I'm just saying, Sony needs to follow that repertoire. Is they need to take risks. When it comes to IPs, like, and yeah, hell yeah, Nintendo has titles that they should fucking dust off the shelves. Earthbound, people have been asking for Earthbound for years to come to America. They still have Ice Climbers. They finally made a Kid Icarus game for the 3DS, although it needs a console release, you know? Yeah, like, we Nintendo need, has it. We also haven't got what? I, aside from the shitty, broken Star Fox that we got on the Wii U, we haven't had a actual Star Fox game in what? Like 10 years? We haven't had a uh, fucking. Uh, F Zero game and what fifteen, <laughs> like <laughs> there there's so many titles there that are doing the same thing that Sony's doing, just letting them sit on the shelves. So yeah, definitely there's a lot that Nintendo needs to also you know bring back, but it's not to the level that Sony is. Like there are so many yes. shelves, Sony fucking franchises that haven't seen titles since goddamn PS One. So yeah, it's it's and... pretty bad. Gex, remember him? <laughs> oh, was that even? Was he even like a a, a a PlayStation exclusive? Was he? He was PlayStation exclusive. I don't know. I don't really believe he was like f- actual, you know, first party. But he was PlayStation exclusive. You know, but that's the level of like how many f- franchises are just sitting there. So I, I actually I'm going to pull something up really quick while we await Red to film the next discussion. <laughs> it's 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 one of those situations to where yes Nint- Nintendo's doing the same thing, but at least Nintendo's using like their core, like their core Mario, Kirby, Link, Pokemon, uh, uh, he- hell even even bringing back Metroid, even though that's just been on the shelves for years. You know, like they're they're still bringing back their core stuff that make Nintendo Nintendo. But Sony is even doing that. Like, yeah, they lost Crash and lost Spyro, but hell, at least you still have Ratchet and Clank. Nobody's forgotten them. Jack and Daxter. You still have Infamous. You still have Uncharted, Little Planet. You know, you have all these titles that people still haven't forgotten, and you're you're not using them properly. That's what I understand about what Sony, what Sony's issue is. I know. From a business standpoint, uh, it must be there must be some difficulties. I understand that. I'm not. I'm pretty sure there's some difficulties to why they can't make these titles right now. But at the same time, there's obviously such a huge demand for it. I mean, hell, you're making medieval. Remember Oddworld? Oh God, was, yeah. Remember that title? I have. I have that. Sh- I have that shit on my fucking PS4. But I don't even know if, that's, if that was like a new title or not. But it's just the fact that Sony. What irritates my Sony is is that they don't want to take risks. They're thinking they're thinking like, oh no, our old titles aren't gonna like out with the old and with the new type of shit, right? They're not gonna fucking uh, make a new Jack and Daxter. Like I'm pretty sure I don't know what the hell they're doing with In- Infamous right now. Infamous is dead at this point. The last Infamous Second Son came out what 2010, 2011? Uh, and actually, let me check one second here. I'm on their page right now, so bear with me. Yeah. Uh, yeah, man. This, this, there's so much that needs to be touched. Uh, infamous series. The last infamous title was First Light, technically, which was in 2014, which was about fetch. Uh, yeah, that was a DLC. Basically, it was a glorified DLC. Second Son was also 2014. Oh, so in Second Son was 2014. Yep. Yeah, so it's oh, that's like what four. That's eight. That's four years. Uh, because it's twenty eighteen. Yeah, full like four. Wait, three years, three or four years. One of those two. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not going to laugh. But the point is, it's just like 
The second I don't see, song hopefully, was re released basically a little over four years ago because it was released in the first half of the year. Oh, uh, so it was like December. Uh, uh, it was March 21st, yeah. uh, 2014. Ah, uh, uh, okay. But yeah, we, we have titles Cause... here th that haven't been touched. Uh, we have fucking uh, White Knight Chronicles. Oh uh, my. Rogue Galaxy. Oh my god. We have... Oh, uh, I'm... Knack has had a title in the last few years. Uh, we have fucking uh, Legend of Dragoon. Still never going to give that up. I still want my fucking promised sequel, goddammit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. And and, and that character... And the character main character from the game, Dart, whatever, who's supposed to be in PlayStation All-Stars. Yep. But... But Nintendo, but Sony uh, stopped the DLC because the last DLC didn't sell well. Because who the fuck asked for Zeus? I don't think anyone asked for another God of War character. Yep. I'm sorry. As Isaac Clark was a good addition. He was a good addition. He was fun. But who the fuck asked for Zeus? No one asked for another God of War character. Exactly. Uh, we haven't had a new Siphon Filter uh, title for since the PSP, I believe. Mm. Uh, oh my god. We have Mod Nation Racers, which hasn't been touched since the PSP or PS Vita. Oh my god, that was like that was my game back on my PS on my PSP. Jesus. We have How about that shit. Yeah, right? Uh we can go was... Twisted Metal. Hasn't been touched <laughs> since the PS3. Right, that was oh I remember when everyone was hyped about that shit. Yeah, that died pretty quick. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's all they were talking about at E3. Twisted Metal, Twisted Metal, Twisted Metal. I haven't heard about that game since... I, I forgot that game even existed after E3, to be honest. Yeah, I, I bought it day one, and I beat it in, like, seven hours. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, well, that was a great 60 bucks well spent. <laughs> That's not the game you wait a year for just to buy it. Yeah, definitely. Uh, we have the well, I mean the i, the PlayStation I thing hasn't been utilized in a while, but I remember everybody was so hyped about the, like the iPad shit. But yeah, that's another series that they still technically own, one that they still own first party. <laughs> <laughs> all these, all all these, just in the basement, just locked up. Uh, the getaway. That was like their answer to fucking like GTA, I believe. Uh, Kill Zone. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Oh, I fucking love. I fucking love Shadow. Uh, I don't know how people felt about Shadowfall, but Kill Zone is actually one of my favorite first person shooters. And it's, it's a fact that I haven't got another Kill Zone. It kills me. Like, I mean, Shadowfall didn't have that great a reception, but it also didn't have too bad a one either it was just kills on through it was the best oh yeah i've still got the fucking helgen helmet sitting up on my shelf from kills on three. <laughs> oh my god i fucking love kills on three uh we have uh second party we have horse marquee uh, studios who made like super stardust um dead nation games like that uh insomniac who own like spyro the dragon ratchet and clank the resistance series and now spider-man oh shit i've heard resistance a long ass fucking time well i mean the vita game kind of killed the franchise <laughs> i played i played the demo of that game it was fun but i mean i don't know it wasn't that great <laughs> <laughs> But like, I, I just, like the third one was pretty fun, but it was also kind of incorporating the PlayStation Move as an optional peripheral was kind of dumb. Not going PlayStation lie. Move the whole was dumb. And now they got it utilized as the tech for the fucking VR system. <laughs> God damn it! Obviously, still third party, uh, but still technically sort of theirs. Uh, we have Freedom Wars, which was one of my favorite games on the fucking Vita. 
Freedom. I've heard of Freedom Wars, but I never played it. I saw it on the on the uh, on the, uh, on the market, but I never touched it. It's quite an interesting title. Um, you just play it <laughs> if you like. If you liked what you saw, just just play it, and trust me, it's fucking amazing. Uh, level five's games we have Dark Cloud, which hasn't been touched for quite a while. Oh, God. Look at all these fucking titles that Sony just doesn't want to touch for some fucking reason. Um, let's see. Let's do a PlayStation All-Star sequel. I really... I don't care what people say. I fucking enjoyed that game. I... Honestly, I will stand by this. The only reason why that game didn't do well is because of the Smash community. I stand by that. Oh, you're I not legitimately wrong. stand by that. That game wasn't that game mechanics was not bad. Yes, it yes it was flawed, but at the same time that game was not was not bad at all. It was actually extremely fun. It's just that the roster was lacking compared to what it should have been. Uh, I would say they had the one of the biggest issue was they had to do a humongous patch for the characters because they fucked because some characters were so overpowered they had to literally repatch them yep yep okay that's uh, how here's one you probably haven't heard in a long ass fucking time cool borders wow yeah wow <laughs> that game is ancient yeah well uh, look, chalk that up to sony <laughs> jesus christ man it's just like like some of these i forgot were a fucking thing i'm not even gonna lie Shame. It's just I, I think I think we proved our point that Sony needs to get their shit together, or at least stop, at least get their fucking fingers up at their asses and start actually, you know, learning how to at least make good, uh, make good of their promises and give, bring back their IPs because, and I guarantee you, instead of making new IPs, making new IPs is good. But instead of making new IPs, why don't you be obviously moneymaker and then make a new title for certain IPs that you have? Or hell, do what Sega's doing right now. Although Sega is overhashing this, but do what Sega's doing right now. Do a, a super Sony mega collection where you have like a fuck ton of Sony Sony titles just jammed into one. I guarantee you that bitch will sell like hotcakes. I mean, I can't find a copy of the fucking Sega collection, not a physical copy of it right now, so, yeah. <laughs> Sega, uh, I, I had the Sega, those, like, that was Sega's issue. They always, Sega collection bullshit. That, this is another Sega collection. We just had one on the PS3. Oh, yeah. And they had a PC version. And now we're getting another one. See, what, What's the difference between that one? What, what the difference is, is... Um, the PC version had a bunch of upscales and all that shit for, like, 4K, and then they're like, well, 4K is a thing now, so let's put that on the fucking PS4 and the Xbox One and watch people buy that son of a bitch so they can fucking live stream it so we can sit here and make a shit ton of money. And it worked. I guess so. People are, are a lot of nostalgia people out there. Nostalgia sells like a motherfucker, man. Yeah. Yeah, I mean it's it's a it's a gift and a curse. Oh, definitely. When was the last time we heard of anything from that game company? The people that made like Flow and Flower and Journey. We haven't it's... heard shit since Journey. Oh my god, I heard Journey was a beautiful game. Yeah, it it was, but I I wouldn't be surprised if we see something from them at E three actually. So, I think this this is my final thoughts with Sony is is the fact that I re I just really wish that they would essentially uh, for basically for people like me who's never really had a chance to, to touch classics like Sly Cooper or uh, you know Jack and Daxter although I'm gonna get the uh, Legacy Collection and you know other titles that that were like Ape Escape. I really want to play Ape Escape, even though Ape Escape is actually on PS4, I think. 
So uh, Ape it's Escape like, One isn't that I seen. Ape Escape Two is. Ape Escape Three is not. So good luck finding them. <laughs> right, like the only way you're gonna ever gonna be able to play most of these titles is if you're gonna fucking emulate them shit on your on your laptop. Always support the official release. <laughs> yes, always support the official release. Even if it's Play. so so fucking hard to find, like it it is like the hardest shit to find some of these titles. Trust me, I've been trying. <laughs> but you know, this does not condone emulation of any kind. Yeah. Please support it. <laughs> but, he says uh, while his uh, Discord status says playing PSE X2 fucking emulator. <laughs> <laughs> PSP gold, PSP PSPP gold. <laughs> so uh, I think uh, David, any last thoughts? Hey, uh, Sony, just fucking listen to your fans. Like that's all you gotta do. Listen to your fucking fans. Let us change our goddamn cringy ass sixteen year old angsty bullshit PSN names. Goddamn it. And also let us fucking get these classics back on the system. Uh, that's pretty much all. Don't. That's, that's pretty much all we can say here. <laughs> like, <laughs> don't pull a Capcom and blame your fans for not making a, a third sequel to a game. <clears throat> Mega Man. <clears throat> Mega Man. Until next time. <laughs> Peace. Peace.